Hello everyone and welcome back. Ow. Hit my elbow. To Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, Blind. You know, I'm still not quite used to actually doing intros in the middle of trials, but uh... Welcome back! In the last one, we basically ran around in circles and didn't do all that much. You know, as we usually do in class trials. But, uh, yeah, no, we really didn't get anywhere major this time. Really? Well, uh, I guess that's not entirely true. We did sort of figure the whole, oh, setup thing. I just already figured that that was the case. So, yeah, there was something. But most of it, like, half of it at least was, uh, Twilight Syndrome murder case. And the, the other half was just, wow, Hyoko is so the killer. Oh, wait. No, she isn't. Anyway. I'll let Monomi do her biz, and then we'll get back into the trial. She was wonderful, wasn't she? Well, no, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, well, aren't you sweet? Oh, I save after every episode, Monami. I mean, technically, except trial episodes, but that is besides the point. In what way? Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Pro I'm gonna assume probably not. But, I mean, would she really have noticed? Now that you mention it, I feel like it's nonsense. I mean, I guess if you wake up in a strange, like, somewhere you weren't expecting, your the immediate thought is either run immediately or, like, check out where you are. So, yeah, I can buy that she'd take a quick look around. So... I don't know, wouldn't it have been dark in there, though? Mm. Yeah. So, I had a little, uh, a little bit of dirt on the screen there. I actually got a couple of pieces of dirt on the screen. <laughs> Can we, uh... <laughs> not get that out of there, apparently. Okay. Now we're good. I'd imagine that's more likely, yeah. That's I mean, they could have been in the shower. Well, I suppose it depends where... Did Hyoko check anywhere? I imagine no. Now, I don't believe that, but okay, game. Especially since the door probably would have been closed. But I guess if the door was open, that does also indicate that no one was in there, you know? I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? It depends what you mean by that tutorial person. If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the logic dive. Okay, alright, yeah, we haven't had this yet, and there was like one or two more mini games we haven't done yet, so. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the left stick, directional key, and accelerate with the X button, or the R button. Press the circle button to break, and the triangle button to jump. 
Oh, that's a bit awkward, but all right. There'll be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. So make sure you're familiar with these controls as you re so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there'll be branching questions in the course. <laughs> the answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answers you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of your break. That's my meddlesome advice to you. If you press the star button during the logic dial, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, she's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hiyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? I mean, presumably they'd have to be there from the beginning so they could actually, you know, get Hiyoko, right? And, I mean, based on what we said, they would have been there the whole time, but there wasn't really anywhere to hide. Mm. I mean, they could have just been, like, outside the beach house, like, on the beach side, just, like, tucked away in the corner. And based on Hiyoko's footprints, if they just, like, if they, if she hadn't, like, turned her head to the left, she probably wouldn't have seen them at all. You know? I think. I just focus and think about it. I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright. I'm going to do it. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Ooh. Do I... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I really don't move that fast if I'm not accelerating, but alright. Ooh. 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 Man, this feels really uh, nostalgic for some reason. I feel like I'm uh, playing an old Flash game or something. Uh, ooh, when did the killer arrive at the beach house? Had to be before Hiyoko. Oh, man. Woo. I really like the aesthetic of this, though. It's really, like, simple, but I like it! Okay. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Question two. Oh no, wrong one. When did the beach? When did the killer leave the beach house? Well, probably after, right? Because they had to place the gummy, apparently. Oh, hello. Oh, man. Dude, I really like this. It's, I mean, it's very simple, but it, it is quite fun. Where was the killer hiding while Hyoko was unconscious? I mean, I said the beach, but I have this funny feeling that that's going to be wrong. There's nowhere for her to be on the beach house, though, so I'm going to say the beach. Um, which is apparently wrong. Okay, it is in the beach house, then. Where, though? I mean, I feel like what I said earlier makes sense, but, I mean, it's a little more descriptive, I guess, than... Where were they? Beach? Beach house! Hmm, hmm, fun. Wow, that's canon. He was just... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, to come out with that after everything we just went over. Fair enough. I mean, I'm interested too. I, I don't know where he's going to suggest. Oh, yeah, funny that. <laughs> Where? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a you on the head and shut you up for good. 
I have a feeling bot isn't what I think it means. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. The place where Hyoko's- where the killer was hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked is... Okay, well I'm not gonna press X. Actually, I don't know. Like... If they were in the main room, she'd see them. Apparently, she glanced into the bathroom. They weren't there. And she clearly had a look around the closet because she knows that the gummy wasn't there. So... What do you get in that game? I mean, there's really nowhere to hide. I... If we're gonna do it like this, there's nowhere to hide out here. And she did explicitly mention that there's no one in the bathroom, despite the fact that that makes absolutely no sense. Like, how she'd know that. Especially based on the way it looks like the door opens. She would have to be, like, over on, like, the side of the room that this table is on for her to see in there. So what? She came out of the closet, walked around this pool of blood, came over to the bathroom, and then ran out the door? Really? I mean, this is nitpicky, right, isn't it? Like, maybe I'm just being stupid and jumping the gun. But tell me that that... That, like, this doesn't make total sense. I mean, I don't know. Things are obviously aren't supposed to entirely be literal here, so I'll buy that the door opens a different way than how it's shown here. Because, you know, Mihiru probably didn't have that much blood. And, you know, the whole thing with her blocking the door, but the fact that she's positioned there would not block the door at all. That's just not how physics works. I suppose pivots. Yeah, like a like center of rotation, is it? Something like that. But it's basic physics, essentially. I mean, I guess it's going to be the closet then, right? Are we going to play on the whole... Oh, it was dark. She probably could have felt for the gummy. Like, when she just woke up or whatever. Because, I mean, if she's in there, she's probably lying down, right? She probably takes up a lot of the floor as well in that sense. So I guess if the killer's just, like, standing in the back. Which, to be honest, is kind of creepy. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, they could be. That'd be really risky, but, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense, but it's the place that makes the most sense. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that is it. I mean, that's fair, but, like... The gummy thing? The gummy is tiny? Like, come on. True. I mean, they have the slight advantage of that Hiyoko is tiny, but, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh my god, this is actually relevant! The only thing in one place. That's right, the place where the killer was hiding inside the closet. We mentioned this! We didn't get it as evidence, so I thought it was completely irrelevant. But no, they were talking about the, the surfboard cases. 
how they were all empty and the... Well, okay. Now it all makes sense, right? But still, picking that out at that point with that lead up made no sense. They should have led with, which I mean would totally remove the the puzzle of the game. But they could have also just taken this questiony bit it out. <laughs> they could have just been like. So, Hyoko, you probably didn't really look around that much, right? Like, you noticed the gummy, then you run... Well, the gummy wasn't there, and you rushed out. So, where would they have been hiding? Like, that that makes more sense to me. So, I guess, in this case, uh, I'm just not a huge fan of how they uh, organised this, I guess. So, that's fine. That's not as much as a, of a issue as I was making it out to be. That's okay. I mean, it's not really okay, but I'll, I'll, I can accept it. Yeah, I kind of wish they'd just given us that as evidence instead, and then we would have just presented the evidence, but uh, fair enough. I guess we had no reason to think it was really relevant. I mean, we explicitly mentioned it, which I, you know, maybe think it was a bit weird. It wasn't just fluff text, but... Yeah, it was like, oh, that was weird. All the surfboards are stacked really stupidly. Yeah, yeah. Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in the case. Yeah, man. <gasps> Yo, if we're gonna be going by that, I just noticed that there are wetsuits in there. Yo, wait, hang on. No. Are we gonna use? Are we gonna use that against Sonya? Because if the killer was in here, and Sonya needs to get a wetsuit, and I've been thinking, well, wetsuit could potentially be used to hide some blood. You know, maybe. And. Uh... Well, I wasn't even really thinking about it in terms of that, but I guess you're right. Yeah, okay, that is pretty creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, especially with Grey Man. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> I think that one works a bit better. I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Yeah, okay, Buki. The killer hit silent, and after making sure Hyoko left, he finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. Well, it's always good to get uh, someone saying okay, no even if it is Nagito. That's true, yeah, especially one that, like, uh, a situation like this that is quite time-dependent. Yeah, that makes sense. You better have some reach there, Akane. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? Oh, getting Monokuma involved? Whew. What is this? Danganronpa 1, Chapter 2? <laughs> I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. Oh, thanks. Thinking along the same lines as Nagito. 
Well, I mean, good, good, good. I'm glad someone's using this as evidence. It seems stupid that no one has before. But, uh, well, not stupid, but it seems kind of weird that, like, I know, well, I not, not that I know, but that I thought to use this as evidence, but no one else has before. But yeah, it's probably not a good sign that uh, me and Nagito are thinking on the same wavelength. I've always been under the impression that no, they aren't. it isn't supposed to be doesn't mean you can't use it. I mean, if that were true, though... Wouldn't you just sound it after, like, the first person discovers the body? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my entire theory does sort of hinge on that with Fuyuhiko, right? Oh, really? Great. I mean, that really doesn't clear anything up. I've been working under this assumption every single time during every single murder in the series so far, but, uh... <laughs> Now then, I shall explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. Really, the final one already. It took like, to, like chapter four to get everything in Danganronpa 1. From this point forward, you'll now be able to use the truth flashback. Ugh. If you hold down the triangle button or touch and hold the screen, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you'll be able to memorize it. This memorized phrase can only be fired once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change a different truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or mistake in your available truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. What's the best time to flash back? Well, you just have to trust your keen wits, won't you? By the way, you'll not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Okay, that's nice. Limits it a little bit. Please remember that this is only effective when refuting points. Well, okay. good luck. Have fun. Well, I guess I know what I'll be using this time, then. Are they going to do the thing where they just give us one? Yeah, okay. They might signal post it like they did in Danganronpa 1, then. Which is nice. Well, that was my one of my first thoughts. That's right, the shower doesn't work. Oh, no, the sea is right outside, man. <laughs> Agreed. Well, I did think about that, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Then they wore, they wore it and... No, I, yeah, okay, no. 
this isn't what I was going to argue. I think anyone could confirm that, but thank you, Nekamaru. <laughs> Ah, uh, nah, that doesn't really make sense. Um, okay. If I use that person's opinion, I might be able to break through the contradiction. Um, the wetsuit thing seemed kind of useless. I think we'll be firing it at Fuyuhiko here. Oh, shit. Uh, what about the in the mm, well, that wouldn't wash it off. So I guess it's Chiaki's? Is it here? Is it this? This is quite vague, but... I mean, we don't really have anything else. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Mm, can you... Can you absorb a grease spot? I might want to check that at some point, but can you do that? Because, I mean, if you can't, then it is absolutely Chiaki on Fuyuhiko. I mean, I'm going to try that first anyway, but we'll see. Okay. It's this one, right? Come on, Mihiru. Let's go! Got it. Okay, I actually thought I didn't hit that for a second. Like, I thought it bonged. This is really vague, but okay. I mean, you're right, yeah, Hajime, but, like, usually at this point, we'd, actually, we'd give, like, actual evidence for that? I mean, to be fair, it's not like we have the C in our evidence. Although, actually, I've just seen the giant problem with that. If they went to the sea to wash off the blood, they'd leave footprints in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot! <laughs> How have I overlooked that the whole time? <laughs> okay, what are we going to go with, then? Something other than the shower. Other than the shower that was used to wash off the blood. Oh! That's how these are fitting in. And these. Oh! I was wondering how that was going to fit in. It's like, did they? makes but I don't know why how these water bottles fit in just get that water and wash yourself off you know ah flew right over my head uh hello Perko what do you got for me mm-hmm Well, uh, hopefully you're not as hard as for you, Hiko. There's a beach, not a bat, trash can, shower room. Well, I mean, trash can is the only one related to this, so I'll load it up. Oh, God. You're fast. Oh. I mean, you're right. Turn to his voice. It's so threatening, it might cut me. But nearing the moment, our fates will be decided. Alright, Hajime, no need to be so dramatic. <laughs> Jesus! Why did that take so many? Never been good at button mashing. Oh god, what? Oh! God, I'm so shit at button mashing. We're in the trash can, though. Allow me to cut through those words. 
So I, I don't really like uh, hanging around on this one just in case I get pushed back. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I think Kazuichi said that there were, right? And then we found them in the trash can. I mean, you'd be right, but we do have the water bottles. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chia? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it. Yeah, Kazui. Didn't Pekko say something about this as well? She might have not done. I, 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 all I remember is that she was in the beach house at the time, but. Well, I don't remember that, but I do remember you telling me that, uh, something about the fact that there were probably water bottles here. Yeah, he really should have. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I don't really think about it. If they soaked their entire body, body body with a bunch of plastic water bottles. They did that. That person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? We do? The killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them. That killer. M the hero's killer. M Holy shit. I mean, whoop de do! It was one of the people I thought it was gonna be. But it's the one I thought I was—I thought it was least likely to be. Cause she, she, she turned up wet at the place. Oh, of course it was her! She was the one directing the entire case! She was the one who was... That it was Hiyoko. Oh my god. Okay, in retrospect, that was probably super obvious, wasn't it? Damn it. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out sooner, shouldn't have I? I literally didn't get that until just then. <laughs> wow. And here I was, still like, oh yeah, probably Sonya. No, no, mm -mm. nope. No. <sighs> I guess we can mark this as my first official wrong then. Wow. Sorry, Mahiru. <laughs> I mean, like, I, you know, got it right now, but. Yeah, man, I didn't... I didn't really suspect Pekka that much at all, to be honest. Uh, I, like, she was one of the three people it could have been, and two by the end of this. Like, jeez. I can't believe the fan service scene was that important. Jesus Christ.
You were all wet. Hajime and Kazuichi. Why are you two here? Typical of the two female voices that are the easiest to do died. God damn it. Hey! Aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Yeah, you know what I've been saying for a while about Pekka always going up to meet Fuyuhiko? Hey, I mean, he was all like, Don't want to get my emotions to hold me back when it's my time to kill. Getting a little emotional, small man. <laughs> I mean, I highly doubt you formed a genuine bond, but, you know... Like a, a bond, but you know, at least someone was talking to you, and that one person is about to croak, I think. Because, uh, I mean, unless we're suddenly going to have a reversal of fortunes, which, to be fair, we very realistically could have. Like, this is sizing up to be a very short second half, but... So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. It's true. No. I saw her. Where? Did you? So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Mm. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Yeah, it's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I don't see anyone during that time. Completely forgot he said that, but thanks for remembering, Hajime. No, I did, so. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. You're right, but we haven't used the the roof thing yet, so I assume it's gonna have something to do with that. Oh my god, this is just like last case too, isn't it? When we ended up fighting Taka instead of Mondo. And we're about to do if we do an argument thing what what is it? What is it called? What's the argument? The the rhythm argument called? Um oh what is it called in this game? It's PTA. Panic talk action. There you go. Really not as good as bullet time battle, but yeah, you know. Who cares about that? Answer me. If you have an explanation, then show me what you got. Well, I have an answer. Huh? That is the weakest <laughs> thing I have ever heard. Yeah, come on, Chiaki. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really thought about this. The killer's escape route. I might know what it was. In fact, the only thing I can think of, I can think of, is that opening. Uh, the small window in the shower room. I mean, it's the only place we haven't talked about. Is they'd probably be stuck in there. She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person yeah. would have left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? 
Well, we didn't find anything. Yeah. Couldn't do that, which is why the bottles were in the bin, right? Yeah, no littering, boys and girls. Yep, no littering is not allowed. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Chiaki. What Chiaki, object, though? We said they couldn't use a rope. Touche, that is also true. Well, Pekko can't really hide anything in a two piece, but, uh. Yeah. You know, I wasn't thinking it, Hiyoko. And I'm still not, because I have no idea what the object is, so... Even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So, the only thing I can think of is that the killer must have hid it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window. Hmm. Well, I think this is my first Hangman's Gambit of this one, isn't it? Um, hmm. What did the killer use to escape? Something she would have hidden. Okay. Oh my... She... Uh, no, that's not how you spell that. Oh, that is, though. It's a sword. Oh, that is... You know what? Uh, oh, God. How do you... How do you spell sword? Oh, no, I missed. Oh! Oh! Oh, balls. Bamboo balls. No, it's O first, then R. Oh no, it's D oh my god! Oh, I can't spell. It's sword. D D D. Oh, dude, I love that they're uh, actually incorporating like the talents into the murders in this game. It's like, Teru Teru had his uh, cooking thingy madu dad. Uh, meat on the bone. And now Peko's like, used her sword as her escape. Well, I don't really know how. Like, I guess she stood on her sword. And she like, just re- Cause like, her sword's quite long, isn't it? It's like the size of her body. So she could probably get out the window just and she still had it when she came with us, or came to see us. So yeah. Damn. I do like that. That is something that I'm absolutely gonna give this game. Like, whoo! You really didn't have much integration of talents into the murders last time. Admittedly, it's not really her talent per se, but it's because of her talent that she carries around the the, uh, the bamboo sword. Or is it like just wooden sword? I mean, whatever. Actually, I was about to say, I'm kind of surprised then she didn't just kill Mahiru with the sword. But, uh, you know, just put it back in its case. But yeah, no, because if the sword's long enough, I mean, my god, she'd have to be good at it, but if you just, like, propped it against the wall, stood on, like, the hilt. Well, not the hilt, the handle. Or is it a hilt? I'm not really sure, but if you stand on, like, the handle part, she could probably, like, lift herself out. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if she was a monkey, she'd just, like, grab, like, as soon as she grabs the top, just, like, grab the sword with her foot. 
pull herself up. Seems kind of silly, but feasible. She did. Actually, no, it's a bamboo sword. She could stand on either end of it. <laughs> I'm thinking like, huh, man, better put that uh, blade in the ground, you know? Fucking, I'm such a dumbass. I mean, I guess she was kind of right then. You know what, that's a way better idea than standing on the handle, because that would, that would hurt. But yeah, no, uh, bamboo swords do have, like, the, the, uh, like, circular, like, hand guard, don't they? Or at least, uh, like, practice ones. Yeah, I was <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, but also not correct. Yeah, I mean, she hasn't got Nekamaru feet, I'm sure. Now then, the time has come once again for the Panic Talk action. PTA. Let's talk a little bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. Okay, I remember this, yeah. From this point, you'll be able to use Fever Time by pressing the R button during PTA. When Fever Time is activated, the tempo will be pushed to its max. That's not all. You won't miss during Fever Time, either. By pressing the X button when applicable, you can destroy your opponent's verbal assault. But only until your fever gate, your focus gate, even runs out. So make sure the best. So make the best pos. So make the best possible use of your time. <laughs> of course, you're not the only one who can get the upper hand. There's something called Nega time that your opponent can use too. If your opponent activates Nega time, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit difficult. To making it quite, quite a bit difficult. Quite a bit more difficult to press the buttons in the ry in rhythm. So in that case, please use the rhythm not with your eyes but with your ears. And your passionate heart. If you can't clear it, you can always change the difficulty setting. I'm not going to tell them they'll have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do that. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. Or you just activate Nega time. Are we actually going to do it with him? Like, jeez. Just picks it up. I, I mean, that's a bit flimsy, but I think it's feasible. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say that <laughs> the parallels in this go even deeper. Because you've also got the fact that Chihiro was bludgeoned to death and died instantly. And oh, same with Mahiru. Mahiru. There's something funny about that to me. It's a dumbass. Poor little human connection boy. Fihiko? Why? Why are you... PTA, baby. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that's not... Wait, hang on, what's the... Hold on. <laughs> okay, it is X. I... Was I just missing it every single time? I guess I was. I was just missing it. Oh, God, I missed it again. Oh! Uh... God, this wasn't going so hot, eh? Wait, can I just... Can I just do this and does it work? I guess so, yeah. Sorry for you, Hiko. It's a bit unfair. I've got a ridiculous focus gauge. Uh, let me just hold that. Missed. Oh, I missed again. Shut up, shut up. 
Sorry, dude. <laughs> Making a bit of a joke out of this after I fucked up. Um, bamboo sword bag. Got it. I'm not sure how, but I got it. Or like... I'm, what I mean to say is I'm not really sure how that would, like, work. But, I mean, hey. As long as you explain it to me, game, it'll be just like the thing with the surfboards. I, I, well, no, it won't be just like that, because I've accepted this way more easily. 